crazy how life works out sometimes. I never thought I'd be back in the game, but look at me now. Boss called me and Corey and asked if we wanted to do a heist, and I told him no. But he made me an offer I couldn't refuse. He told us this was going to be a heist of a higher caliber. We had never experienced anything like this heist. I couldn't believe him. I was one of the greatest heister in my days, and even though I've been out of the game for a while, I still think I had it. Boss didn't know what he was talking about. He offered us nearly a billion dollars, so I knew this was some legit work. I knew it was going to be dangerous going in, but never did I think it would be as dangerous as it turned out. He told us to go to the dock and get the cargo. The cargo was something I'd never expect to see in my life. Black market porta potties. These cost $2.5 billion each. After we had gotten all the cargo loaded up, it was time to embark. My job was to ensure that nothing fell out of the back. It couldn't have been this easy though. I knew it couldn't have been this easy. Why was nobody guarding these $2.5 billion worth porta potties? Something was fishy. We had made it up the road a bit, but something was up and I could sense it. I looked over and I couldn't believe my eyes. It was the ballers. The ballers came to attack us. Luckily I was able to defend them off though. After a brush with the ballers, we had to make a trek off course. The police were after us because we had such hot cargo on the back of our truck. We were afraid that the ballers might get us, so we headed down to the LS River. We weren't far from the target, but something told me there'd be more dangers along the way. I was launched off the side of the truck, and then all the cargo fell out. I knew Boss wouldn't be happy about this, but we had to fix our mistake before he found out. We had called our friend Dave to help come fix our mess. Dave was an expert pilot and just happened to own a cargo bob. We didn't know what else to do. Luckily for us, Dave was there for us. I don't know what Corey was doing at this time. He was probably over there jerking off in the bush. But if it wasn't for Dave, we probably wouldn't have finished this heist. Everyone, take a moment of silence for Dave, or he died not long after this. Luckily, we made it there with only one more hitch. We had to fight a dragon, but don't worry guys. I cut it out because it would be too boring. Luckily for us, we made it here, nice and safe, except for Dave. Poor Dave. So Corey parked the truck in there, and our mission was complete. Boss had gotten the package, and now it's time to live life as a near billionaire. Also, the bias was Korangatang. Hey, if you guys liked the video, uh, how about you give us a thumbs up or a subscribe? And if you didn't like the video, how about you give us a thumbs up or a subscribe? Hey, just be on the wild side. Uh, I'd like to thank you all for watching this video. And if you guys are wondering what happened to Dave, he died fighting the dragon. So, do with that what you will.